fan of the Apes franchise. Oh, yeah. Who isn't? I mean, even if you're not, you know what it is. And it's, it's huge, right? It's like, I can't think of many things in film that are equivalent to this kind of a, like Star Wars or in that historical, it's just crazy. So that alone was really kind of a thrill. Awesome. So how does this film continue the saga of this series and what can fans expect? Well, it, it, it is what it said. I mean, war, war for the planet of the apes. I mean, it's, it's a very, it's dark and heavy and violent and it gets nasty. Um, and, but it's really a story of, of Caesar's journey and the war he's having with who he is and his integrity and his empathy and where is that going, what happens during war when we, you know, our tolerance for other people. and our, it's, it's a pretty simple story and that's what makes these, I think, interesting and that's why they live forever is because they are simple. They're about those kind of things. And my character is great in, in, uh, in this story in that he's kind of an opposite speed. Everybody's kind of down and serious and, and they find this ape, which is a coup because they think there are no other apes that have survived and they find me off in the woods living by myself for a long time and I'm just a completely different I'm just excited to see other apes, you know, to be a part of a group. So he adds a, a bit of lightness to this heavy story. Actually, that's a perfect segue for the next question. Bad Ape brings a lot of humor and heart to this story, so can you talk a little bit more about his personality? Yeah, he's a, uh, he's, um, he's very inquisitive. He's experienced, he's older, he and Caesar share a lot of the same experiences, even even bad ones, and yet Bad Ape is just kind of, uh, uh, I don't know how do you explain it. He's, he's just really excited about everything, <laughs> which, which adds a completely different, I, I'm a chimpanzee that I escaped from the Portland Zoo, and I speak, which is another thing that they find amazing because most of them don't speak, you know, sign language or whatever. Right on. So what was the most challenging aspect of making this kind of film? Physical, um, that's the obvious. It's extremely physical all day to squat, to quadruped, to get up on things and make it look like it's effortless. That just obvious, like just physical. But the hardest thing is probably to find and play the essence of an animal that has a character, that feels, that, you know, has perspective. Like an, that's the hard part, is playing, playing the, the essence of, of an ape. What is that? How is that? I would study film. I would study monkeys, people shooting them in, in like, uh, with their cameras, um, in zoos just sitting there. And those were the videos that were fascinating to me. Like, how do they sit? How do, how do they look different? They look over their shoulder differently than we do. How do, how, you know, how do you reproduce that? That was the hard part. All right. Well, this is the first time you've ever seen the apes in the snow. So what was it like to film with this weather? It's cold. <laughs> it was snow. It was deep snow. We were up in Whistler. Whistler, uh, British Columbia. Great ski place that we couldn't ski at. We just watched other people have fun. Well, we did fun stuff, though. We were riding horses and running around in the snow. I mean, it was, it's, it's what it looks like. When it's wet and, and it looks like it's cold, it was wet and cold, which is Vancouver most of the winter, 40 degrees and drizzly. So a lot of it was, um, was it was a hard shoot. 